Yo, so this is the news. We back in here for another edition of your mother. It's happened a week or so ago. It says South Korean Democratic Party leader stabbed in the neck. As he should. See, this is how America needs to get down. There's too much corruption in government. Over there, across seas, around the world, they don't play that. You you mishandle the funds, we at you. You gotta go to the you know what I'm saying, you gotta take a dirt nap. And then we got Ja Rule. This nigga just Revealed that he signed a deal potentially worth a hundred million dollars. Now I don't know what potentially means, nigga. You either got it or you don't. I know this is more fodder for Fifty Cent to laugh at, but congratulations, Ja Rule. He worked hard for it, especially after um, Irv Gotti sold his catalog for two hundred million. And then we got British police are looking into alleged gang rape in virtual reality game. This is how much the retardation of the world is taking precedence in every society. It looks like. I don't even know how you get gang raped in virtual reality. People need to get back to real reality. Go outside, take a breath of fresh air. What kind of crime has been committed? None. There's some cyber shit from the movies in the 90s. And then we got Taraj P. Henson. Now, the color purple tanked and bombed at the box office, but she's complaining now. Before she was complaining, she got paid like she was a newbie actor. And now she's complaining that she had to drive herself to the set of color purple. So what? You driving a Bentley, what's the problem? I'll drive myself to work, it's your black ass to work. And we got the Harvard president, Claudine Gay, resigns making her making her tenure the shortest in the university's history. Now, I didn't go do no research and I care less of what this lady said, but they claimed that it was anti-Semitic and they got her, they got her out of there. That's all I'm gonna say, I can't, YouTube has defanged me. Can't use any profanity, any crass language. It's like I'm talking to a class of retarded kids. And then BG, this is Lil Wayne in one sentence, calling him a bitch in a song, right? These old niggas from the 90s and 2000s, or from the 99 to the 2000s, these niggas are so washed. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if that's what happens as you reach mid-life crisis or 50s. Niggas are suckers nowadays. So he's claiming he done backpedaled and said that he'll call Wayne a B and then say he love him in the same sentence, which makes no sense, which is why his dumb ass got stashed in a prison in Louisiana, because idiots like him need to be locked up for a good amount of time. Get away from the regular public. You're not thinking correctly in any event. It's been my thoughts, ideas, opinions. This is the news. If you like this, you know what to do. Subscribe, turn the notifications on, like, comment, and share. And I'm out.